The storyboard option is also available from the Video Timer Pro. You can see here we are in the data collection ribbon and the storyboard is over here just to the left of the time preview. And just like in the line balancing area, if you click on this, you can create a new storyboard. Or you can update an existing storyboard. Now what it will do, it will pick up all of the activities that you've defined in your video time study here. And of course, you can change the sequence by highlighting a particular row and then moving it up and down here by using the up and down arrow. So you can just move it up and down as you wish. The other thing you can do if there's something you don't want to go to the storyboard, use the skip uh, column here, the add to last and skip. If you click on this, anything you don't want to include, you can use the skip the S here and just say apply it and it will put an S in there. The storyboard will be written out, but it will ignore any of the observations that have the S written beside it here. So I'm going to take that back out again. So of course you can change this around any way you like. And when you're ready to run the storyboard, you simply go up here, click on the storyboard, click on the create new, and it will send it out here. Once it's saved, you go to the storyboard and you can play it back directly from here. Everything else works exactly as it does in the line balancing. So you can customize this to your own particular needs. You can create your own revisions. So having the storyboard available to you directly in the video time study means that you do not have to go to the line balancing to generate the storyboards. You can do it directly from the data collection ribbon in the video timer pro.